Hey, how's it going, humans? So today, Bestman Bulletin dropped a lot of spoilers, and I'm gonna talk about some stuff that I was hearing too. Um, if you don't like spoilers, you should probably check out of this video and watch something else because I don't wanna spoil the movie for you if you don't wanna know. Um, basically, up front, Bestman Bulletin says that General Hux defects is a resistance mole and that he basically saves Poe, Finn, and Chewbacca from being slaughtered um, by stormtroopers. So that's interesting and cool. Very difficult, I think, maybe for the audience to take if that's accurate because he's such a bad dude. Like he does such bad stuff. He blows up a whole, you know, system with the Star Killer while giving a hateful speech during it. But at the same time, I mean, you know, we do live in a world where people can come back from that kind of stuff. I mean, not that mass genocide and murder, but sort of being involved in hate groups and stuff like that. Like you don't have to keep being a piece of crap if you don't want to be. And that's a big message in Star Wars, I think. Um, the other thing that I like a lot that he has is that on Indoor, which now I've heard, Jedi Praxis has heard, and Bespin Bulletin. So unless we're playing some kind of weird echo chamber game, it does appear that Indoor is the planet that Rey goes to with, with, the, with the Resistance. But what I like is that the Ewoks are there. That's crazy. And that makes me really happy. Um, the other thing is that talks about Palpatine being, um, Ian McDermott being on set as Palpatine and there being this like giant like arm kind of device and they think he was hooked up to it. So I don't know if it's like his dialysis machine or something, but like, that keeps him alive. Um, I went through my notes and from discussing things with various crew members over the, the last year, and there are instances of crew members implying or straight out saying that young Palpatine and young Palpatine are in the same sequence. And those sources generally always noted when something was a flashback. So I still think there's something to that Matt Smith stuff. You know, people said that Cumberbatch, Benedict Cumberbatch was in seven and that didn't pan out. And I don't know if this is like the, the new version of Cumberbatch, but all signs are pointing towards, towards Matt Smith having a role as a young Palpatine or something like that, you know? And we just did a story recently about Ray's parents and uh, a Sith blade and all this stuff and somebody who, who, who kills them. And you know, is it Matt Smith? I mean, that's like the best theory around right now, but we'll have to see if somebody else can elaborate on that right now, like Jedi Praxis or Bestman Bulletin. Right now, I don't know, but I'm hoping that we find out and I'm hoping that sources maybe start talking a little bit more about this stuff now that the cat's kind of out of the bag. So Bestman Bulletin has a lot of stuff in there. You know, the Ewoks being back, I dig it. So I would check out Bestman Bulletin on Instagram if you don't. You could follow all of these stories, generally speaking, on makingstarwars.net. Um, we covered it on Now This Is Podcasting on the new episode today. So if you like podcasts or you drive and listen to Star Wars stuff, then check it out. And um, the Palpatine mystery, it, it keeps unfolding and keeps unraveling. So it's definitely an interesting time to, to follow spoilers if you do. It's always fun when you get the actual story, but it's pretty fun when you get these little morsels of things and conflicting info and figure out how things wash out and maybe even why. So check back soon. And if you like the video, like it and subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. And I'll keep doing videos. And um, if not, I'll, I'll just go away. <laughs>